So first you want to put the floats around the legs because once the person is laying on the surface, it's hard to put them. So first put the floats. Here, as you can see, you have to really be aware if they are put in the right way. Otherwise, just open them again and change it. So how to bring someone in the floating position? Make sure that your forearm is comfortable, that there is no hair or um, no clothes making the contact uncomfortable. You can hold the other hand and ask the person to press when they're ready. And then you bring them down, means they just lean back by themselves and you give the support. So your forearm is actually supporting the head and not the neck. This is very important. Also make sure if you have a very bony arm that it's not the bone but the softer part of your muscles supporting the head. You see, I help them to lift the pelvis, especially in this case, because they have sinking legs. So they have no floats right now, means that they wouldn't even float up to the surface while they're laying down. Here you can see the arm is inside, we have a more distant position. Knees on shoulder family. Be aware that for some people this might be too intimate. Because you are between their legs, for some people this is just too much of um, closeness and intimacy. So this is Mambo, you see the movement of my shoulders, so right shoulder is pushing their knee against their body, now left shoulder. And it's a one spot movement, I turn around my axis, left and right and left and right. I have both hands with my hands. My thumb is in the middle of the palm. Now right shoulder. Now my left shoulder brings their knee against their body. Now right one. Now the left one and my right hand actually also pulls. So this is um, my left shoulder pushes and my right arm pulls. My right arm pulls and my left shoulder pushes. I am with you. One of the most gentle movements that you can offer to a person who has never received an immersion or even a session. The position is an embrace. So it's actually a very tight embrace. The idea is to make the person feel held and safe. You can come from mothering with outside leg or from any other position and just put the outside leg on your shoulder or upper arm and then you turn around your own axis. 
The head is laying on your other arm and you can close both of your arms around the other person. For example, one hand could hold and touch their outside arm and the other hand could hold and touch their outside leg or even also the arm. You turn around your own axis and start to immerse the head very short time only in one direction and you come up and while you turn to your other side the person has time to breathe and then you immerse them again. The idea is to immerse them in the direction of their face so they would get the flow of the water towards their face. So it depends on the direction in which their head is turned. Silence family. Silence means that we keep someone in a certain position without moving their body. And generally we mean that the person stays under the water, but there are of course also some positions, silence as we could call them as well, on the surface of the water. This one you already know from the family knees on shoulders. Knees on shoulders family, silence. Again, you have your hands on the hip bones or maybe in some special cases on the sides of the belly or even on the rib cage. Preferably on the hip bones because it's less invasive and less intimate. But some people, again, if they float a lot or if they have inhaled a lot of air, it's hard to bring them underwater. So in this case, as you can see now, I put my hands on the side of the belly with the fingertips already on the rib cage. Then we hang there. We come up with a back and forth movement, slowly, slowly, which gives the person the sensation that they are not just floating up very fast, but having a nice transition way up to the surface. And as you can see, I'm totally straight. But in the moment that I bring them down, I lean forward. First of all, I give some space. Second, it's my way of bringing them down. And then I stay straight again. I stay fully straight and they just relax. Again, it's a very intimate position. For some people it feels strange. Sometimes I have some people grabbing my ankles. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very nice silence. Medusa. It's a little bit tricky to get in, but once you're in, it's a nice movement. So you place your hands on the shoulder blades again, but you come from below and then you turn the body. So you're beside the body, your hands come from the side and then you have to make a lot of space. So bring your pelvis and your upper body back so you have space enough to turn and their head doesn't hit your chest. And then you turn from one side to another one. This causes a stretch in their back, especially in their upper back.
you can see very well how Rita is coming back like if they wear a stick. So I supported her back with my own upper body. Now I support her back with my arm. Again, I'm not in the neck, I'm supporting their head. And the head is the most important thing to support. Because after floating it feels quite heavy and people might just bend the neck too much if they don't realize that they have actually to lift their head. Here again, I have them on the head on shoulder position, cheek to cheek position, and I support them with my hands around their hips and bring them back with my upper body. You can also place people on your knee. This is nice because like this they have the feeling, oh, okay, I'm still held. Fun.